What's going on guys, Wildcat here, and I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. Now I haven't done one of these in a year and a half, two years maybe. It's been a long time since my last one. So long so that I don't even know what game, I don't even, I don't even know when the fuck it was. But uh, I'll link the last couple in the description of this in case you missed those. They were forever ago. And some of the questions I answered there I won't be answering here. So yeah, check those out. The gameplay you're gonna be watching in this Q&A is just some Black Ops 2 gameplay that I got, I think a year and a half ago. It was just in my theater mode, and I thought, why not? It's, like, really good, though. I've learned, like, a 45 gun streak or something. Anyway, doesn't matter. You guys asked me some questions. I asked for uh, you guys to give me some questions about a week ago, and I'm finally getting around to recording it. These are all off Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, click the link down below in the description. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my Twitter link on, on screen now, my at name. So yeah, go follow me there. Uh, I tweet stupid shit and pictures and just, just general stuff, man. You get a lot of information. And more stuff looking at my personal life, I guess, whatever. Yeah, just go to my, just fucking, just follow my Twitter, man. Follow it. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some questions. All right, so the first question, which is pretty common, and I've probably answered it before, is how tall are you? I am six foot five, uh, close to six foot six, like six foot five and a half, six foot five and three quarters, pretty close to six foot six on a good day with shoes on, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm pretty tall. Not a lot of people think that I'm that tall, um, but I am, so I guess that's all there is to say about that but yeah okay next question spider monkey asks where do you work uh i actually don't have a job youtube is my job believe it or not um i know that i've been slacking lately and it's something that i really i really am trying to work on i really do want to upload more videos um but yeah youtube is my full-time job i don't have a job outside of that so youtube is my full-time job uh you know whether it be doing youtube or twitch streams or just whatever i do t-shirt sales that kind of stuff that's where i get my income to pay the bills things like that i'm sure a lot of you knew that it's Pretty common nowadays for a channel my size to be doing YouTube full time. So, yeah. All right. So these next four questions are all kind of related. Uh, the first question is, Yo Tyler, do you have a girlfriend? If so, what is her name? I've been watching you for a near, year now, so I was wondering. I do have a girlfriend. Her name is Kelly, and uh, or Nilksky on Twitter, as this next question will show you. Um, yeah. She she plays video games and stuff. She likes to play League of Legends and Call of Duty and all that stuff. Pokemon. Uh, she's awesome. And uh, the next question is, how did I meet her? I met her at PAX East. Two years ago, 2014, Pax East, and then I started talking to her, and then she came. She took the long trek across country to come stay with me, and uh, we've been together ever since. Been dating for like eight months, but yeah. Uh, the other two questions are: Can you or will you make video game upload games with her? Um, that's something I've thought about doing. If that's something you would like to see, uh, leave me some suggestions for games that we could play together. Uh, we could play like I don't know Smash Bros together if Nintendo doesn't like. Copyright that shit? I don't know how that works. I probably should know how it works, but I don't. Yeah, we can play games together. Uh, leave some suggestions down below if that's something you want to see. Um, yeah, next question. If you didn't start making YouTube videos, what would you be doing? Um, before YouTube, I was in college, and I was studying computer science or communications, one of the two. I, was, I started off communications, then I switched to computer engineering or something, then I switched to computer science, but um, something in that field, either communication, because what I wanted to do after high school is I wanted to make videos or or edit or be a filmmaker or work on a TV show set, something involving film or production or media in some form is what I wanted to do because it's what I did in high school. I made videos for my school broadcasting class. And it was really fun. Uh, so that's what I wanted to do. But uh, when I went to school for communication, I realized that probably not the smartest thing probably can't get a job that reliably in that so I switched to computer science and I tried programming programming is something I really enjoyed but as it got harder and harder I just I wasn't as motivated to do it and because I started YouTube I was more motivated to work on videos than I was to study which was unfortunate which is kind of how it happened and that was fine um yeah if I wasn't doing YouTube I guess I would be finishing up school about now and I would be looking for a job some sort of as a programmer or game developer or something that's what i would be probably doing um yeah next question uh nasty ravens asks why don't you live on the west coast with all of your friends now some of you guys may or may not know but a lot of my friends live over in california whether it be la or san diego but a lot of them live over there and it's really nice over there a lot of opportunities out in la a lot of youtubers and stuff out there a lot of game companies out there in san francisco san diego la stuff like that uh, a lot of conventions out there you know e3 and stuff like that so there's a lot of opportunities out there um, but unfortunately, it's really expensive to live out there, as most people know. Um, just apartments are expensive, houses are expensive, just the cost of living in general out there is expensive. And where I live right now in Indiana, 
cost of living is really low. Like right now, I'm renting a three bedroom house and it's cheaper than a one bedroom apartment would be in LA. Like it's really cheap here. So, you know, why, 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 why worry about it right now? I'm gonna save some money, live here where it's cheap. And I like Indiana, it's nice, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, but maybe eventually I might move out to the West Coast. Um, but right now, it's just cheaper to stay here. And uh, if I need to go to the West Coast, I can just fly out there and stay with, you know, someone for a couple weeks or something. You never know. Um, but yeah, hope that pretty much answers your question. Hank Jr. asked, did they ever capture the person who stole your stuff from your truck? If so, did you get anything back? So last January, I spoke about it, I think maybe once. I know I mentioned it on my Twitter a lot, um, but I was on my way back from my parents' house in Tennessee. I was in Kentucky and I stopped to get dinner with my girlfriend and someone broke into my truck, um, stole all my YouTube shit that was in the back. I had it all covered up, but they targeted my truck because it's a newer truck. They broke into it and they managed to steal my computer, my monitors, and my Xbox and Xbox One. So I lost pretty much everything I had for YouTube and I kind of had to restart and it really sucked balls. And I gave all the police the information I had, but the problem was I didn't really have any serial numbers for the, for the uh, PC because it was custom built. I didn't have the serial number for the Xbox One because who, who the fuck likes on the serial number? But yeah. And uh, nope, eight months later, they still haven't found any of that stuff, so I imagine it is long gone and some person bought it at a pawn shop and yeah, so I don't expect to get any of that stuff back. But. What games are you looking forward to this year and what's your favorite game of all time? Uh, I really don't know my favorite game of all time. I have a lot of them. I really like GTA 5. I really like Black Ops 2. I really like a lot of the Pokemon games, specifically third gen. Um, I really like... I don't know, man. There's so many games. I, lo I love video games, just in general. Um, what games am I looking to uh, this year? Oh, there's also a question that kind of ties in this. Are you hyped for Black Ops 3? So one of the games I'm looking forward to is Black Ops 3. Um, I've kind of fallen out of love with Call of Duty, I guess. Ghosts was not my thing. Advanced Warfare, not really my thing. But I really enjoyed Black Ops 2. It's probably my favorite Call of Duty. Not even probably. It is my favorite Call of Duty. I love the zombies. I love the multiplayer. So I'm really, really hyped for Black Ops 3 because Treyarch's going to be making it. I think the zombies is going to be seriously amazing and that's the biggest thing i'm excited for the multiplayer i don't know it's a little bit too futuristic for me i'm, I'm kind of over the whole futuristic and like advanced movement i, I just I, it's i don't like that that much um but the zombies is going to be awesome i'm also looking forward to fallout 4 i think that game is going to be amazing if not i think it's going to be the best game ever made it's like every element of every rpg crammed into one of the coolest settings of all time like post-apocalyptic boston with nuclear fallout shelters and just the lore behind fallout is really interesting to me um just the wasteland is really cool to explore and like there's crafting in the game there's like you can build a base and defend your base and you can there's like a million things you can do in that game and i think the depth is going to be crazy and i'm super excited for it but yeah those are the two games i can't really think of any other not pretty much just those two uh but yeah all right next question is are you going to be making black ops 3 videos you and your friends um we do plan on making Black Ops 3 videos. I don't know about straight up multiplayer like we used to. Like back in the day, we used to just hop on Call of Duty. We'd play for several hours and, you know, go for silly kill cams or random funny shit would happen. We've been trying to find glitches and stuff. But, um, I don't know. Everybody's schedule nowadays is so tight that we, when we get on to record, we kind of have a set amount of time that we can record and kind of have to play a game that has funny moments within itself or sets itself up for funny moments. The problem with Call of Duty is they just randomly happen or you have to spend a lot of time to make them happen and when they do happen they're not always that great so i don't know it's just not a good way to record i don't know it's just hard to record call of duty and get the funny moments that we used to uh, plus a lot of the funny stuff i mean you, it's the same throughout call of duty you know each call of duty is not that different so the funny stuff we did in old ones it's not going to be that different from the funny stuff we do in new ones but we are definitely going to record and upload the zombies. I'm sure of that. As we've been playing a lot of custom uh, zombies on World of War, we're definitely going to be playing some Black Ops 3 zombies. So I can tell you 100% that those are going to be videos. Don't know about multiplayer. Probably not. I could do some single player too. Let me know if that's something you want. Maybe I could like play through the co-op or the campaign. Because it is co-op. We could, yeah, we could do that. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be uploading Black Ops 3 videos. Most likely just zombies. Next question is, what is your favorite game that you don't record? I would say I have two favorite games that I don't record. Uh, CSGO, which I live stream a lot, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I live stream that game a lot. I don't really record it and upload it, though. Uh, another question I got is, can you upload CSGO? I could. Uh, many did. Uh, I think the videos are well received. You know, a lot of people like CSGO, and there's a lot of entertaining stuff that happens. But it's kind of like the same thing with Call of Duty, where the funny moments just randomly happen. So you have to be recording all the time. And that's kind of inconvenient. 
And plus, I like to try hard in that game, and I just... I don't want to be caught up worrying about recording. I just want to play it. Uh, another game is Hearthstone. Uh, Hearthstone is a free-to-play card game that I like to play. It's just really relaxing and nice and fun. Relaxing. Sometimes it really pisses me off, but yeah. Uh, next question is, uh, what's your CSGO rank? This kind of ties in. I am currently MG2, which is the AK with a little wheat parentheses around it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's my rank. Next question is, how come you guys don't play GTA 5 PC? Now, obviously we do play GTA 5 PC, but I think I know what he was getting at. I think he was imp implying that we don't really play it very often. Um, for the simple fact that GTA has been out for three years now? Two years? I don't remember when it came out. Did it come out in November of 2013, or was it... I think it was 2013, right? Yeah, but the game's been out for two years. We've played it that entire two years. Aside from all the new DLCs and stuff that dropped, the game hasn't changed that much. I mean, heist, obviously, but we uploaded all the heists, right? I didn't, but me and all my friends, we played and uploaded all the heists. Um, aside from that, the game's just not that different than it was two years ago, you know? We, we, we upload and play the game whenever a new DLC drops. It's interesting. Other than that, we've done everything. So that's kind of why we don't really upload it anymore. Chocolate Chip 21 asks, why don't you record your live streams of GTA 5 and upload them to YouTube? I saw your flight update one and liked it a lot. What he's referring to is when the flight update DLC came out for GTA, I decided to live stream it and um, I played with Nogla and Louie. We just fucked around and I thought, you know what? Why don't I just upload this whole live stream to YouTube and see how it's received? Because it was like the first day that the update came out and you know, Louie always uploads like 50 minutes of him going through everything in the DLC and that's pretty much what I did in the live stream. But I think, ah, whatever, I'll give it a shot. And it got like over a million views and it was really well received. So I may do that again if the time is right. I can do it every time I upload, but I don't want to spam you guys with two hour long videos of a game you may not be interested in, you know, like CSGO or something like that. But I could do that if that's something you want. Let me know down below in the comments if that's something you want to see. But next time I do GTA 5, I might do that. Um, yeah, because people seem to really like that. So maybe. Lemon asks, Wildcat, why aren't you a Doritos bag anymore? So, in a Sandbox, I changed from a Doritos bag to my GTA character, because one, somebody made the GTA character, and I thought that was really nice of them. But they, they, you know, they didn't have to do that, but they did, so I wanted to use it. And the second reason is because, um, for, I guess, kind of copyright reasons, but not really. More of like, if I'm a Doritos bag, I can't sell t-shirts that say Doritos on it. You know, I can't sell a poster that says anything about Doritos on it. And it adds some continuity between my character on Sandbox and GTA. I just think it's better, I guess, for quote-unquote branding if I associate my name with that character instead of a Doritos bag. Uh, just because, you know, Doritos is an actual company and they might not like that. that you know, they just might not like that. So, yeah, I think just for many reasons, I think it's better to go with that other character. All right, so this question actually comes from my dad. This is my actual dad's Twitter account. His name is Rich, and that is his Twitter account. I'm not kidding. Do follow this account. This is him. So if you want to follow him for whatever reason, you can. Um, but he asks, what's your best, worst childhood memory? Now, this one's really hard. I really don't know. I would say my worst childhood memory would be the first time we moved. Uh, like the first day of school after we moved. Uh, I moved in like fourth grade uh, to a new school. And uh, nobody was no nobody was my friend. I, I couldn't really talk to anybody. I was shy, and I, I was a really emotional kid, so I cried. And then everybody made fun of me because I cried. And it was just not a good situation. But I did make some friends eventually. And it, was, it all it all turned around. What's my best childhood memory? I really don't know. I don't know. I had a pretty good childhood. I liked a lot of things that happened. I can't I can't really say what's my best. Um, another one of my worst, I guess, would be. When I was in like third grade, I think I wrecked a foil and I had to have a hernia surgery. That kind of sucked, but I don't really remember that much. So I guess it wasn't that bad. My best, I would say, was when I got a four-wheeler for the first time when I was in like kindergarten. I came home off the bus and my dad had a four-wheeler in the yard and I got to ride it around. And then from that day forward, I rode four-wheelers like all the time. That was pretty good. I don't know. There's got to be others, but I can't think of them right now. And uh, question number two is how awesome is your dad? My dad is pretty awesome. If you want to follow him on Twitter, I guess you can go do that. Um... But yeah, thanks for that question, Dad. And the last question is from Omniphobic Comic. I don't know how the fuck to say your name. He says, are you profoundly happy with your position in life? Do you appreciate your success? I am really happy with where I am in life. I have some things I still want to work on. You know, just some personal things, some personal goals. I want to improve. Always want to improve. Um, I need to work on being more productive in the day. Obviously, I need to, I need to get on a better schedule. I need to live a little bit healthier. I need to go to the gym more. Things like that. But uh, other than that... Other than some minor things that I want to keep working on, I really am happy with where I am at in life. Um, 
I really like where I'm living. I really like what I'm doing. I really appreciate all the success I've gotten and what I get to do for my job and what it may turn into into the future. All the things I've gotten and have now because of YouTube, you know, my girlfriend, um, just the opportunities I've been given, the, like traveling, the people I've met. Uh, yeah, it's really awesome. And it's all thanks to you guys. And I really do appreciate it. I am really happy with life right now. So, yeah. I guess that answers your question, and uh, that, that'll that wrap up the end of the Q&A. That's all the questions that I looked through and thought I should answer that I haven't really answered before. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that. If you did, be sure to click the like button down below. Leave me some comments. Maybe uh, I'll do another Q&A in a month or so. Got to space them out because there's not that much stuff to difference, but I haven't done one in a while, so I thought it was about time I'd do one. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.